Our universe is in a state of constant expansion, a vast, ever-growing sea of stars, galaxies, energy, and dark matter. This expansion is not just a theoretical idea. It's a physical reality confirmed by decades of observations. And yet, despite all our advances, measuring the full size of the universe, or even grasping its limits, remains one of humanity's greatest challenges. Fortunately, with the revolutionary capabilities of the James Webb Space Telescope, we are now able to peer further than ever before, bringing new depth to our understanding of the cosmos. Since its launch, the James Webb Telescope has made it possible to observe regions of space previously inaccessible to any telescope. Prominent scientists like Brian Cox and others have used its findings to reveal astonishing truths about the sheer vastness of the universe, a scale that defies human intuition. Within the observable slice of the universe, astronomers now estimate the presence of around 2 trillion galaxies. And even that mind-blowing figure may represent just a fraction of what truly exists. This estimate is based on detailed studies of the local and distant universe, extrapolated from observed regions. What's more profound is the realization that the observable universe, the part we can see, is likely a small portion of a possibly infinite expanse beyond our detection. The space we occupy, the stars we see, and the galaxies we explore are but a tiny sliver of the grand design. But here's a humbling truth. We are not separate from the universe. We are an expression of it. In a very real sense, we are the universe attempting to understand itself. Each cell in our bodies is made of elements forged in stars. Our thoughts, questions, and observations are all part of this cosmic symphony. With the help of the James Webb Telescope, we embark on a voyage to discover more about the universe's true scale. A journey that pushes the limits of what humanity is capable of comprehending. If you're fascinated by these cosmic wonders and want to keep exploring the mysteries of space, be sure to subscribe to Waves Discovery, like this video, and turn on notifications so you never miss a moment of our celestial journey. To begin grasping the enormity of the universe, let's start by examining the scale of our solar system. If you were traveling at just 70 miles per hour, it would take around 15 days to circle the Earth's equator. At that same speed, reaching the Moon would take you about 5 months. A trip to Mars, even when it's at its closest approach, would take nearly 63 years. But reaching Neptune, the outermost planet in our solar system, would require an unimaginable 4,400 years. Now, consider Voyager 1, the fastest and most distant human-made object. Launched in 1977, it traveled at 38,000 miles per hour, and yet it took 35 years to exit the solar system. That alone is a testament to how vast even our local cosmic neighborhood truly is. But our solar system is minuscule compared to our galaxy. The Milky Way contains around 300 billion stars, many of which likely host their own systems of planets. Our nearest stellar neighbor, Alpha Centauri, lies 4.3 light years away. That means even traveling at light speed, which is about 186,000 miles per second, it would still take more than four years to get there. And if we attempted the journey at Voyager speed? It would take a staggering 70,000 years. This reveals just how isolated our solar system is. Even nearby stars are practically unreachable with our current technology. We are like a single ship adrift in an ocean so large that even the nearest harbor is thousands of lifetimes away. Let's take a moment to consider Betelgeuse, a red supergiant star located 640 light years from Earth. When we observe Betelgeuse in the night sky, we're not seeing it as it is today. We're seeing it as it was 640 years ago, back in the late 1300s. That's over a century before Columbus set sail for the New World. The light that left Betelgeuse then is only now reaching Earth. And in cosmic terms, Betelgeuse is still nearby. Our influence on the universe is equally limited. The radiosphere, the region of space touched by humanity's radio transmissions over the last century, has reached only about 15,000 star systems. While that may sound like a large number, it's just a microscopic fraction of the stars in our galaxy, let alone the universe. To illustrate, imagine shrinking our entire solar system down to the size of a quarter coin placed somewhere on a map of the United States. 
On that scale, the entire Milky Way galaxy would be the size of planet Earth. We are just one of 300 billion star systems, quietly drifting in this immense galactic sea. And beyond our galaxy, there are more galaxies, many more. Our closest galactic neighbor, the Andromeda Galaxy, lies 2.5 million light years away. It contains an estimated 1 trillion stars, and it's currently on a slow collision course with the Milky Way. But even when these two titans merge in the distant future, the chance of individual stars colliding is minuscule due to the vast distances between them. Space, as it turns out, is mostly empty. This cosmic event may eventually reshape the structure of both galaxies, possibly creating a new, larger galaxy. Yet from a human perspective, it's a silent, graceful transformation unfolding over billions of years. Our galaxy, the Milky Way, belongs to a cluster of galaxies known as the Local Group. This group is part of a much larger collection called the Virgo Cluster, which itself contains more than 1,500 galaxies. Even more astonishing, the Virgo Cluster is part of the Laniakea Supercluster, a sprawling structure of around 100,000 galaxies. And even that is not the full picture. There are thought to be at least 10 million superclusters in the observable universe, and likely many more beyond. As we pull farther back, we begin to see how galaxies connect through massive cosmic filaments, strands of gas, dust, and dark matter that stretch across billions of light years. These filaments form a cosmic web, connecting galaxies and clusters into an enormous three-dimensional structure. Between these strands lie the cosmic voids, areas where galaxies are rare and matter is thin. Despite appearing empty, even these voids may play an important role in shaping the universe. They may eventually give rise to new structures, influenced by the subtle tug of gravity and the distribution of dark matter. Within these cosmic filaments and nodes, galaxies evolve, stars are born and die, and phenomena like supernovae and black holes drive cosmic recycling. Supernovae distribute heavy elements, like iron and gold, into the interstellar medium, enriching future generations of stars and planets. Meanwhile, supermassive black holes exert powerful gravitational forces, shaping galaxy evolution and occasionally emitting energy jets that span millions of light years. And then there are quasars, the brilliant hearts of galaxies where black holes consume massive amounts of matter, releasing more energy than entire galaxies. Quasars are so bright that they can be seen across billions of light years, acting as lighthouses from the early universe. But what lies beyond all this? Due to the expansion of the universe, there are regions so distant that their light will never reach us, not even given infinite time. These galaxies exist, but they are forever beyond our observational reach. This limitation defines the observable universe, which has a radius of about 46.5 billion light years. Some cosmologists estimate that the entire universe could be at least 250 times larger than the observable portion. Others believe it may be truly infinite, an unending ocean of galaxies, stars, and perhaps even other universes. This raises even more profound questions. Is our universe the only one? Or are we part of a multiverse, with countless other universes existing in parallel, each with different laws of physics? As we confront these vast ideas, we are reminded of our unique position. On a small planet orbiting a modest star in a quiet arm of the Milky Way, we look up and wonder. We observe, we ask, we calculate, and in doing so, we connect with something far greater than ourselves. So have you ever truly considered how vast our universe is? If this video has helped you understand the immensity of the cosmos even a little more, let us know in the comments. And if you enjoyed this journey through space, like this video, share it, and don't forget to subscribe to Discovery at 2.0 for more content like this. Thank you for joining us, and we'll see you in the next voyage among the stars.